sweet gang, it's your girl Rochelle in the building coming to bring you another great video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create another trending treat. And yes, I'm going to show you how to create the chocolate pineapples. Here I have some canned sliced pineapples along with some other items and some Chef Masters candy color to color my chocolate, which I have some white and milk chocolate, which is Merkins, some garnishment, some peanuts, Oreo crumble, and some strawberry crumble. You're also going to need some parchment paper and paper, paper towel and a cookie sheet. So if you're new to my channel and you're ready to get into this tutorial, let's get into the video. Here I have some paper towel, which you're going to need a few sheets of, a cookie sheet, and some parchment paper. So here I have my canned pe pineapples. I don't know why I want to say peaches, but pineapples. You want to open up your can and we're going to drain the juice from the can. You got to make sure that the juice is drained and then we're going to dry off our pineapples. Okay. So getting you a bowl, you can drain it in a bowl or drain it in your sink and then take them out carefully and just lay them right onto your cookie sheet or baking tray so that you can better um, position them and have them ready to dry when you get ready to do this process. It's much easier to lay them out and then dry them as you see here. So I'm just gonna take, and I got a couple of sheets, so I'm just gonna take it and fold it over and press firmly, making sure you don't crack them, and just firmly press and get all that juice from those pineapples. Now that they are dried, and make sure that they are completely dry, you guys. Our next step, these have to go into the freezer for one whole hour, okay? Now, moving on to our chocolate. Here I have my Merkins candy melts, white and milk chocolate, and here I have 16 ounces. So what we're gonna do is melt this in intervals. I did not speed up this video because I wanted you to see this process. I added two tablespoons of Paramount Crystals, and I did my first interval, and I mix, and I like to melt in a glass container. So what I'm doing is just mixing until the, the Paramount Crystals have completely dissolved. So um, after the first interval, I put it back in for another 30 seconds, and during that 30 seconds, I brought it out. So this here, what you see now, is from the second interval. So I did two intervals of 30 seconds with the Paramount Crystals in there. And so I'm just utilizing the heat from the glass bowl to help melt down some of the stubborn melts or the Paramount Crystals. And as you see here, majority of my chocolate is becoming smooth and has thinning out. And that is what I'm looking forward to in results. And that's what you guys want to do as well. So as you see here, it's nice and smooth and thinned out well. So also I do the same method and technique for the white chocolate. Continue to stir, mix, and use Paramount Crystals. If you don't have Paramount Crystals, then you can use some oil, which would be fine. So as you see, after I melt my 16 ounces, it melts down to about 12 ounces, which you will have like 12 ounces of chocolate. Now you wanna take some uh, of that chocolate and put part of it into a piping bag. You just wanna leave out some chocolate for drizzling, okay? So just separate some of your white and then separate some of your milk chocolate for your drizzle for your chocolate pineapples. Now what I'm doing here is putting the remainder chocolate into the bowl and here is my, my piping bag all dressed and ready to go, but you wanna separate your chocolate and put it in separate bowls 
So you can have enough room to place your pineapples in for dipping. So here I have my milk chocolate and my white chocolate. And also I threw in some salted caramel. After you have removed your pineapples from the freezer, you want to put a fresh sheet down on your cookie sheet because there's going to be some condensation from the freezer. So make sure you wipe down your tray and dry that sheet and put on another parchment paper. Then take some paper towel and just re-dry re them to make sure that there's nothing wet um, on your pineapples. So now we're ready to get started with dipping our pineapples. Here you see me lay an extra sheet. So I'm gonna get started with the white chocolate and the strawberry crumble, all right? So you just wanna put it in your bowl and flip it over. As you see, the pineapple should be firm when dipping and they will solidify really quickly. So for those that are new, to dip in chocolate and don't know the term solidify, that means the chocolate is seizing up really quickly. So in order to have garnishment placed onto your chocolate before it freezes up, you gotta make sure that you dip, lay it down, and apply that garnishment of your choice onto your chocolate. So see here, I also, um, just cover the top. I'm also gonna lay down some of the crumble onto the parchment paper if you want to coat the back of your pineapple as well. So just dip it back into your chocolate, flip it over, and then place right into right onto that garnishment and then garnish the top of your pineapple. So I'm just taking my fork here and lifting it up and just putting it back on the tray so I can finish dipping some more of my pineapples. All right. So now I'm just going to do just white and just dipping the white, flipping it over and placing it onto my sheet. Now moving on to the milk chocolate. Now I chose to do a nice selection for you guys so you can see just some different um, flavors and um, different technique in me dipping these pineapples. So you can be real creative um, with what you want to dip your pineapples in. Um, milk chocolate or white chocolate, which you can color your chocolate, which you're gonna see me do in the next couple of clips. And here I have my drizzle bag and I'm just placing them right onto the surface and I'm drizzling right back and forth as you see in this video. Now I'm gonna take some salted caramel and drizzle right across the top. And y'all give a thumbs up for, for the changing of the parchment paper, you guys, because let me tell you, it takes a lot of work to create and edit this video, okay? All right, so I just wanna let y'all know I changed out every sheet to make sure that y'all can see, have a good view of how this all turns out. 
and they are fun to create. Okay, so you see I'm using a, a long skewer. Um, sometimes the fork gets stuck. Um, so if you have some long skewers, long toothpicks, by all means use those as well. Um, here I'm adding some peanuts and just FYI, when you dip your chocolate and you take it out and you have, you may have chocolate on the center of it, of your pineapples and you want to still get that hole, just pick the pineapple up and just move it over to the side into another position and then begin to decorate from there, which I'm going to show you in the next clip. And here you have the nice peanuts, chocolate and peanuts, pineapples. And here is the Oreo crumble pineapple. Now here you see I covered, like completely covered the pineapple. So what I'm going to do is take my skewer and just clear out the center of this pineapple to make sure that the chocolate doesn't stick or the crumble don't stick onto the center of this particular pineapple. And here we are drizzling Now it's time to color our chocolate. As I stated, this is a Chef Masters candy color. You gotta make sure it's candy color. This is the candy color pink, okay? And this is for chocolate, all right? I repeat, to color your chocolate melts or chocolate, use a candy color by Chef Masters to create this particular color. So you wanna make sure you mix it well. And here, my pineapples got soft. So I'm showing you how careful I'm being in dipping this particular pineapple. And I have some chocolate that needs to be spread it around. So you see me spreading it around and then it had a puddle. So I just picked it up and just put it in another spot, just like you would do strawberries. So you don't get that pool of chocolate uh, at the bottom or around. So I just moved it over so it wouldn't get uh, a pool around or in the center of the pineapple. And here you have it, you guys. All these beautiful pineapples, Oreo crumble. I have just the plain white chocolate strawberry crunch salted caramel peanut and strawberry you guys you can do whatever you like with these and have fun with them if you have enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you know your girl row is on and coming to give you life and leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoyed this video. And you already know, it's your girl Ro about to go, but I'll see you all in the next video.